guys, it's Epic Zara here. I'm back again with another video and I'm bringing you guys something that was very much requested. I'm going to finally share with you guys my updated list of favorite products. If you'd like to watch this video, please be sure to stay tuned. But before we get into it, I'd like to remind you to do four very simple things. Please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up so that we get to at least a thousand likes. Please be sure to comment down below and let me know your favorite product. Share this video with all of your friends. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to our channel. The button is right below. If you haven't already, be sure to do it. If you're already subscribed, thank you guys so much for your support and keep watching. briefly describe the type of hair that I have to you. My hair is fine, but extremely dense. So it appears to be super thick. The strands are not very thick. There's just a whole lot of hair on my head. My hair is also extremely protein sensitive. I do not use products with protein at all and certain oils, which I will tell you guys more about as we're going through this list. My hair is also very much low porosity. When I get in the shower to give my hair a good shampoo and condition, it takes it takes a while to actually get wet and deep conditioners tend not to absorb into my hair as well if I do not deem my hair or apply some sort of heat. I do not actually use heat on my hair. However, I do at times heat my conditioner or the oils I apply to my hair. And maybe I'll use a hooded dryer or a heating bonnet to ensure that my conditioner penetrates my hair. The final detail regarding my hair, I suppose, would be the pattern. My hair type is for a 4B and then I have a bit of 4C right here and right here. A lot of people like to know this little detail however I don't really think that the information is so pertinent when it comes to actually figuring out what products work very well for your hair. This is just my opinion. I could be wrong but this is how I feel about that matter. So you guys that's my hair in a nutshell. Let's get right on to the video and talk about my favorite products. So ladies and gentlemen, the first thing is cleansers. I'm a huge advocate of shampoo. I'm a huge advocate of cleansing the hair. However, I always do caution people not to overuse shampoo because if you do, your hair is probably going to be dry and brittle. And that's not cute. We don't want dry and brittle hair. We want very moisturized hair. We also want hair that is ready to absorb the goodness that we're trying to give to it, right? So in order to do that, we need some good cleansers to remove buildup to just kind of reset the scalp. So the first cleanser on my list that I recently discovered and am seriously in love with is the neem and tea tree shampoo bar by obia Naturals. it actually cleanses my hair very well but keeps my hair super moisturized I also love it because my scalp is very sensitive neem and tea tree are oils that promote scalp health tea tree has antifungal and antiseptic properties neem does also and there's a property with neem that actually helps itchy scalp problems Problems. Two other cleansers that I use to support my scalp health are the Organic South Theranine Shampoo and the 100% Pure Burdock and Neem Shampoo. I like to mix them together and then dilute them. For those of you that know me very well and that are subscribers of this channel, you guys know that I like to wash my hair in sections. I just put on my scalp while my hair is in twists and I allow the residue to trickle down so that the rest of my hair can be cleansed without it being stripped. Two other cleansers that I've been using for years and years are Dr. Bronner's Tea Tree and Dr. Bronner's Peppermint, the liquid Castile soap. I actually seriously love those products. I've been using them since I went natural, which is about almost nine years ago at this point. I also dilute them. That's actually how Dr. Bronner's instructs you to use the product. I use this primarily when I need to clarify. Let me be clear, <laughs> no pun intended. The Neem shampoos and the Dr. Bronner's I use when and I want to clarify. So another cleanser that I use is bentonite clay mixed with ACV. There are some people that like to use their bentonite clay with water, but I prefer to use mine with ACV. Bentonite clay with the ACV supports easier detangling because when your cuticle is closed, the hair can slide past itself 
much more easily than when the cuticle is just like, eh, hey boo. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, let's move right on to those conditioners. Two conditioners that I've also been using since I went natural many, many moons ago. The Yes to Carrots and the Yes to Cucumber. I absolutely adore those conditioners. The scent of the entire line is enchanting. If I could have natural hair products that smell just like that, period, I would be the happiest girl in the world. I love those hair products. The consistency is also milky. It's not really too thick, but it's not extremely watery, which for me is perfect for detangling my hair. The next conditioners that I frequent are the Organic South Theranim Conditioner and the 100% Pure Burdock and Neem Scalp Conditioner. Now I just shared with you guys that I do have a fairly sensitive scalp. These really help to soothe my scalp. And of course a happy scalp promotes healthy hair growth. Next on our list we have the conditioner I use more often than any conditioner in my arsenal. It is the Aussie Moist Conditioner. I also really love the scent of that conditioner it's just really light really airy I don't like when hair products smell like candy or baked goods that just makes me really uncomfortable so I'm very glad that this is more of a clean scent more of a floral scent and you guys last but certainly not least is the Trader Joe's tea tree tingle conditioner I love this conditioner so much now it's not necessarily easy to get in Nigeria when I go back home to the States I'm gonna get like 10 because it's a great cheap detangling conditioner of course here in Nigeria it's a bit more expensive but I'm going to do is I'm going to link everything that I've mentioned in the description box down below and I'm also going to put links for where you can purchase these in Nigeria. Long story short I love the tea tree tingle it feels fantastic it really does tingle it's extremely soothing I just love the consistency it's great for detangling and it leaves my hair feeling extremely moisturized which I'm all about because my hair I would say is a bit prone to dryness if I don't moisturize and deep condition properly so you guys my favorite deep conditioners and the ones I use all the time love natural step three this will forever be a holy grail like I'm getting a little emotional <laughs> as I'm talking about it because that's just how much I love the product I haven't used it in a long time the last time I used it was when I went back home which was the end of last year so I really really miss that product I think they shipped to Nigeria now so I may actually order it and just have that back in my arsenal it's always left my hair feeling so moisturized and imagine combining that with an extremely popping steam treatment it's fantastic another deep conditioner that I love and still use and I'm able to find in Nigeria relatively easily is the mixed chicks deep conditioner funnily enough I told a hairdresser I use this product it works really well for my hair the hairdresser was like oh no this is for me I was like, bye Felicia, like, there's no such thing. I guess maybe there is, I don't know, but the way I see it, mixed textures vary across the board. You could be mixed and have horsey hair, you could be mixed and have completely straight hair. So I thought that was a very silly statement. Don't be deterred by the name, that's really all I'm trying to tell you. It's an extremely effective deep conditioner and the ingredients are top notch. My hair is a little bit uppity, so it tends to be pretty picky when it comes to products and ingredients. So I think that's why it worked very well for my hair. The last deep conditioner that I use on a regular basis is the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle. It's one of those deep conditioners that you can use as your daily conditioner really because it's super moisturizing and you literally only have to leave it in your hair for about three minutes I like to try to follow the instructions of product I'm going to experiment also with using it while I'm steaming I tend to use my mixed chicks or my love naturals when I'm steaming now we're going to discuss my favorite leave-ins my hair is really finicky <laughs> very picky my hair does not take any sort of nonsense to you guys. So I need to be very particular about the type of leave-ins I use on my hair. And what I found is that at least one step in my process following my wash routine has to be pH balanced or else there's going to be a problem. These are the leave-ins I use that ensure my hair maintains a healthy pH. For those of you that don't know what pH is, it is basically how acidic or alkaline a substance is. 
A low pH is indicative of acidity. A high pH is indicative of alkalinity or a substance that is basic. So the pH scale is from zero to 14, you guys, with zero being as acidic as you could possibly get and 14 being as basic or alkaline as you could possibly get. A relaxer is highly alkaline. The pH, I think, ranges from 12 to 14. That's just a little brief science lesson. You guys should definitely do more research on that. It's really important when determining how to treat the body, the skin, and the hair. Let's get back into this, you guys. My favorite leave-in, number one. Number one, this is my top favorite leave-in by far. Love natural step four, like, oh, fam. Kimmy Tube, I don't know what kind of divine ginger ale she was drinking when she came up with her product line. I flipping love, love natural step four. The pH is flawless. It makes my coils pop and it makes my hair so moisturized. My hair was easily at one of its healthiest when I use this product consistently. Another leave-in I'm in love with is the Kinky Curly Not Today. However, I prefer to use this in conjunction with something that actually closes my cuticle more effectively. When I use it, I like to use another product which I will mention later. So you guys keep watching to find out what that product is. Another leave-in I just discovered and I actually feel like I cannot live without is Opia Naturals Curl Moisture Cream. When I was really struggling in Nigeria and I couldn't find any of my favorite hair products and I didn't know what to do and I thought my hair was gonna fall out my head, I managed to find Opia and I said, you know what, let me just give this a shot. I doubt it will work. I feel like it's probably gonna suck, but let me just try. And I was very, very pleasantly surprised to find out that my hair loved it as much as my hair loves Kimmy Tube's line of Love Naturals. I was in other shock. So till today, it's holy grail, it's staple in my routine. I love Obia Naturals products. Next on my list of leave-ins, which I didn't anticipate liking at all, Cantu Shea Butter. I actually have three products from Cantu Shea Butter that I use as leave-ins. Extremely inexpensive, very readily available in Nigeria. I hear there are a lot of fake retailers of this product, so be very wary. First thing is the Cantu Shea Butter leave-in, the normal one. Then we have the Cantu Shea Butter leave-in for natural hair. Now, I really like both of them. The consistency is different. I think I prefer the normal one. Somehow it feels better on my hair than the natural hair one. But when I want something that's a bit heavier, a bit creamier, I reach for the natural hair one. Now I tend to switch between the two because I think they just both work extremely well for my hair. And I tend to prefer using them when I don't want to style my hair since they are heavily laden with glycerin. And in this kind of humid environment, glycerin is not really my friend like that for a nice stretch style. <laughs> so I prefer to use them when I'm protecting my hair. Next, this is not really intended to be a leave-in, but I think it almost works better than the leave-in. And because it's a detangler, the pH is super duper low. It's actually the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair, Coil Calm Detangler. How quickly can you say that? Coil Calm Detangler, Coil Calm Detangler, Coil Calm Detangler. It's kind of a tongue twister, but I really love the product. The pH is super low, makes sense because when you're detangling, ideally your cuticle should be closed so that the hair slides past itself more easily. And it also works really great as a detangler. I'm not gonna lie, like I, I love that product. Cantu Shea Butter, when I first used it many moons ago, I did not anticipate it working, but I knew as soon as it touched my hair and my coils started to just pop out of this world that it was going to work extremely well for me. So I recommend this highly to anybody that struggles with dryness, anybody that has low porosity hair, anybody that is protein sensitive. So next on the list we have our protein conditioners because yeah I'm protein sensitive, yeah I don't use protein in my products, but you still do need to protein treat whether or not you are protein sensitive. So for someone like me, the best things to use are Aubrey Organic GPB, Glycoprotein balance it's really phenomenal makes my hair feel strong renews the resilience of my hair but does not make my hair feel straw like which is what like the rest of the world's protein conditioners do I highly recommend this to anybody who struggles with protein sensitivity and low porosity
generosity. Next is the Redken Smooth Down Butter, and this, out of everything on the list, has to have probably one of the best scents. It's competing for first place with the Yes to Carrots and the Yes to Cucumbers. That scent is so posh. It's just clean. I love it. Like, you guys don't understand. When people tell me they love how my hair smells, I take pride because one, I like to smell good, and two, I love those kinds of products that have just really rich scents without smelling like candy or baked goods. Some of my favorite oils include almond oil, oil of almonds, almond, almond, almond oil. I'm just playing. But no, really, like pretty much my favorite oil and the only oil I use frequently, aside from my holy grail, which we will get to, is almond oil. I love almond oil. It really works extremely well for my hair, especially when I use it as a hot oil treatment. It penetrates my hair shaft effectively, and it does not make my hair feel the way coconut oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, and a few other oils do. Now, when it comes to being protein sensitive, some of you may argue and say, coconut oil doesn't have protein. Yes, we know it does not have protein, but a property of coconut oil is an affinity for protein. It helps the hair to retain excess protein, which does not work for somebody like me. It has never worked for somebody like me. It will never work for somebody like me. If you guys wanna hear more about how much I hate coconut oil, I'm going to link that video right here. From the beginning of my natural hair journey to now, coconut oil has just not worked for me. So I'm extremely grateful that I stumbled upon almond oil. But guys, really quickly, could you please let me know down below what oils you use in your hair as somebody who is low po or protein sensitive that work very well for you? I'm curious to know. My hair really loves oil, generally, ironically enough, but I can't use very many diverse oils. So I wanna find ones that are a bit off the beaten path. So ladies and gentlemen, these are my stylers that I frequent. When I want to wear my hair curly, I do one of two things. I either use my kinky curly combo or I use an activator gel. When I use my kinky curly combo, I use my kinky curly not today. And you guys remember I mentioned that I would tell you what products I need to use in conjunction with it to make it do the best it can for my hair. Just a quick sidebar, I do use it without this product from time to time, especially when I want a fluffier style, but it does not keep the moisture in my hair as long as when I use it with the kinky curly curling custard. Another thing I do when I want to super define wash and go after I've finished applying my leave-in and my oil is to use curl activator gel. I think the one that I've been using here in Nigeria is called Hollywood Activator. It's a pretty great product. The only thing I don't like about it is that if I don't protein treat my hair, it will make my hair feel spongy, which is not healthy. Another product I absolutely love is my Love Naturals gel. It's very nice on the edges. It feels really great on my edges. It doesn't have as much hold as my other favorite, Gorilla's Knot, which is my Holy of Holiest Grails gel. I flip and love that gel. When it comes to making my buns sleek and sexy, it's all about that Gorilla's Knot fam. It keeps my hair just laid. <laughs> as kinky and coily as my hair is, it stays uber laid with my Gorilla Snuff. The best part about this gel is that I can layer it, layer it, layer it, layer it, layer it, and it doesn't get gummy. It doesn't produce any white balls or anything like that. It just stays looking sleek and smooth. And I can reactivate it with just the spritz of water. So I love that I can layer it over my products without fear of getting that like white crusty-ish all over my hair. Okay, so I already raved about how much I love Obia Naturals. This list would not be complete without finding them on here again and the product that I love to use on my ends or to style is the Obia Naturals twist whip butter it seals in the moisture phenomenally well and it has water in it which I find interesting because I've never been one to use a water-based product to seal any part of my hair but it's so rich with butter and oil that the water does not hinder the success it has when it comes to sealing my hair so you guys, my miscellaneous favorite has to be my Love Naturals acidifier. I love that product. 
It does feel a bit odd on the hair initially, but it's really great for just closing that cuticle once again. It resets that pH, it takes that hair back down to a very comfortable pH. So I like to use it as kind of like a refresher. I'll also seal it with some oil. It works very well for me. I retained the most length throughout my head of hair when I was using that product especially here in the front where my hair is just a little bit length challenged. That's pretty much everything, you guys. We're just missing my holy grail products, which I'm going to talk about for just a few moments right now. Holy grail number one, wild growth hair oil. I no longer use the yellow one because the base is coconut oil and I tested it out recently again and it just made my hair feel disgusting. So I no longer use the yellow one, the light wild growth hair oil. However, I still use use without fail the normal wild growth hair oil i love that product no product has sealed my hair more successfully than that product and funnily enough i think coconut oil is the third or fourth ingredient on the list but it still works amazingly well for my hair i don't know if there's something inside of it that brings out the best properties of the coconut oil or maybe the other oils are in a quantity that's large enough to mask the coconut oil when it comes to my hair whatever the case may be that product is incredible I love it last but not least is my absolute favorite product which is my super secret shea butter mix which will actually be for sale in Nigeria very soon when it's available I'm going to link it down here so you guys keep checking the description box for where you can purchase it how you can purchase it etc but I love this I've been using it since I went natural when I first went natural I was super obsessed with researching a bunch of different oils and ingredients to help my hair, you know, flourish and grow. Didn't think I'd see it grow fast enough. I mean, now it's pretty long though. So I use it as a hot oil treatment. I use it to seal my ends. I use it to style my hair. I use it to massage into my scalp. I use it for pretty much everything. This is why it is my absolute holy grail. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you're already a subscriber, hey, welcome back. Thank you again for watching. Please also don't forget to comment down below and let me know what products you guys like to use in your hair. Let me know what your favorite hair product is. Let me know what your favorite hair products are. Let me know if you guys like to mix your own hair products. Be sure to also share this video with your friends. And last but certainly not least, give this video a big thumbs up if you love this video. If you guys continue to give us positive feedback, we'll know if you want us to keep making videos. <laughs> so once again, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to check out the description box to see all of my favorite products, including my super secret shea butter mix when it's available for purchase. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Bye. Make you move that thing, bring it out. Make you move that thing, bring it out. See, I like when you come around. Make you call and be my queen. Make you move that thing, bring it out. Make you move that thing, bring it down. Make you move that thing, bring it out. Make you move that thing, bring it out.